got some bonus footage for you here guys I asked if there was any humming or anything on this car before I replaced some wheel studs they didn't seem to think so so I did the wheel studs took it for a drive definitely a wheel bearing out it's pretty crusty looking sounds pretty crusty So I got a new one here, it's a 513214, sounds a whole lot better, don't forget to put your dust shield on. This uh, just kind of fishes through there. Make sure you don't pinch it. This top bolt to get your torque wrench on there decent. You gotta turn the wheel a little bit. And then I like to recheck them. Now you can uh, reassemble the brakes just like I showed you before. So I'm going to skip ahead to having them put on. Since none of you volunteered to come help me, I have a wood clamp on the brake, holding pressure on the brake. So we can torque down this uh, nut. Gonna run it down first with uh, it's a 36 millimeter socket, then we'll torque it down to 159 foot pounds, and that is crucial that you do what they say because it actually puts a preload on the bearings here. Some of the other ones, like say my uh, excursion and whatnot, where there's just a little C clip in there. Uh, to hold the axle shaft from flopping around that they preload from the factory with the nut on the back this actually clamps everything together so if there's a big nut like this follow their torque specifications otherwise this thing will be shelled out in no time That would have went a little bit quicker if I would have had more air in the tank. Have my bigger torque wrench here. And the instructions do say to put a, a punch or something in the brake rotor. Uh, it is a lot of torque and we just made it slip.
There we go. You always want to put lug nuts on in a somewhat crisscross pattern. It's hard to do when it's an even number, but there is actually a pattern for everything. Well, there you go, guys. It uh, didn't go exactly as planned, but hopefully this will help someone. If you have a if you have a humming and you can't tell what side it's on, usually if you go around a curve or something. The side that's out, when you put more pressure on that wheel, will hum louder. When you put less pressure, you'll get quieter. So, this one turning right will get louder, turning left will get quieter. Hopefully that helps somebody out. It's kind of a humming sound. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And God bless. Take care. You want to run them?